What is up, guys? So I, this is the day after this video that's about to hit right now. Um, but I got some really cool news. It, uh, it's very cool for me, guys. I've been, I've been working hard to try and get noticed by somebody, by anybody, but not so much by anybody, but by a company that I trust, that I stand behind, that I think they truly stand behind their customers, and the fishermen, the anglers that are out there, everybody. And I can proudly say that I am now, this is gonna be cheesy, 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 but I am now a team member for Monster Bass. How cool is that? Guys, you guys, anybody who's been here from my channel from the get knows I've always supported Monster Bass. I've always liked what they've done. I canceled everything else because of these guys and because how much they care and how much they stand behind everything. I saw Monster Bass comment on a video. Someone commented and said that they were having issues with their Ragnar. Monster Bass got on there, replied to them. They said, contact our support. We're going to get you another. That shouldn't have happened. Do you think Mystery Tackle Box would have done that? Do you think Lucky Tackle Box would have done that? Maybe so. But would they have commented and would they have reached out directly to that person? I don't think so. I don't see that happening. So, these guys, I mean, I'm, I'm blessed. I'm truly blessed because they brought me onto the team. But, and, I mean, if you guys ever want to check them out, you guys want to order anything, I put a link down in the description. It will always be there. It does help me out. I'm not going to lie. It does help me out. But I would not put my name on it if I did not believe in these guys. That's enough talk. Let's go catch some freaking fish, all right? I'm jacking fish in the face with frogs. Let's go. Just waiting for him to wake up, guys. We've got a little scum frog popper on here right now. Activity's picking up on top water. We've had a decent amount of rain recently. And this pond is way up. Way, way up. I can usually walk between these two bodies of water, but I cannot do that today. I mean, it is just completely flooded all the way through here. So lots of water being dumped into this pond. Let's see if we can't find someone today. And hopefully a big someone. I'm chasing something big. We got one. Yep. That's why we got him on the frog rod. Up in the grass. Up in the grass. Uh, uh, yeah. Oh, sorry, buddy. Holy. That's a thick fish right there. Come here now. All right, you know what? Let's go get the tackle bag and get the scale. We got two eight. Look at that guy's little scum frog popper. A little dirty from hitting the water there. Sorry, buddy. All right, I can't quite reach the water from here. You're a chunky dude. I figured you for over three all day. Going back now. Oh, yes, right by the grass line. Whew. That would have been a lot harder to do without this rod and reel. Cast King. Speed Demon Pro reel, Cast King Speed Demon Pro rod. Now this rod is actually an eight foot <laughs> Magnum swim bait rod. I mean, it is rated two to four or two to eight ounces for weight. And I'm throwing this itty bitty scum frog popper. 
Now these might be the ugliest frogs that you've seen on the market. But I'm telling you, I've probably had more hookups. No, I know for a fact I've had more hookups with scum frogs than anything else that I've fished with frog wise. Should have checked my line after reeling that guy in. Set up, I'm running 50 pound Cast King Mega 8 braid. And the Mega 8 is just, it's an eight strand braid. I've had four strand and just never quite as happy with four strand. I've had more backlashes with four strand. I understand four strand cuts through, you know, vegetation a lot better than something like an eight or a nine. But for casting ability, the eight or nine is just, it's more cylindrical. It's more smooth. It doesn't have the the rivets in it like a four strand does. So it just casts a lot better. A smaller one, a smaller one, but hey, you know what? We're gonna skip him right over all this. Yes. He's angry. That dorsal fin. All kinds of kicked up right there. Angry indeed. And what I tell you about these scum frog poppers? Scum frogs in general, they just hook up. I just don't know if there's much more fun than frogging first thing in the morning. There's just something about me, especially when you're having success. <laughs> you know what? I, I take all that back. There's nothing more fun and frustrating as frogging in the mornings. Because sometimes you can't get them to bite. You may throw every frog in the book and they will not bite. Now, I don't know what it is about Oklahoma, for me at least, but I have thrown black frogs, I've thrown brown frogs, green, but I do believe I've had the absolute most success with throwing white. I think all in all, this year, frogs, I've had the most success throwing any kind of white frog. Some kind of variation of white, white belly. Once you know they say with the contrast of the sky, like white just kind of blends right in. I don't know if it's because it is more similar to a bait fish on the surface but I white frogs just get it done for me Guys, there's a big big old frog coming from a frog right now look at this bullfrog look at him look at this bullfrog going after my frog look at him can you see him holy moly He's huge. If you're working around fountains, you're throwing some top water, I would say a popper is one of the best things to throw. Some kind of popping variation of your top water. And you want to work it short but aggressive to break up all the other ripples on the surface of the water. So you get their attention. I don't know there's something else up there. There's some unchartered stuff over here. Whew. It's thick. Had to make the trek back. Fell a couple of times. Let's hope it pays off. The grass doesn't look as thick over here. This might be the spot to be tossing a swimming action bait. Oh, wow, he wanted that. I could be wrong, I could have been wrong. <laughs> wow, he wanted that. You guys see that? <sighs> wow, that caught me off guard.
Oh guys, wasn't recording for it, but I just missed my first. Missed my first fish of the day. Just working this scum frog out here. Quick like. Got torpedoed again. And I missed him. Alright, one more and then we're gonna change tactics. Here's your chance. Changing my mind. Wow. <laughs> wow. Were you the one that just hit me? Now what do we do? Well, decided to change the plans. You guys, I know, probably won't believe this, but I cast up under the fountain, had a hit, missed it, and I start swimming this thing back, and I don't know if it's the same fish or not, but he came back and he, he took it. Nice lip ring guy. You barely hooked too. Wow. Oh, I should have been recording that. That was crazy. What is it with me and the crazy strikes? Okay, so the change of plans. I actually did not pack accordingly. I had a, uh, a new craw that I wanted to test out and I did not bring it. So there you have it guys, successful day. Like I said, I forgot my uh, rage craws at the house. So it is what it is. Oh man, keep the camera on me. It is what it is, it's all right. The day is done, time to get to work. I'm come out to another one of these two or three and do a different kind of challenge here pretty soon. So anyways, I'm out of here. I'll see y'all later and see you next time we're on the water. Thanks for watching. <laughs>